there once again, people, and welcome to yet another Quake C um, various mod. Um, this time around, this is a very simple one. I'm basically just checking out non pixel explosions, which. It's basically what it says on the tin. It gets rid of the annoying pencil light explosions. So a lot of people basically complain on news groups about the unrealistic and annoying pencil light explosions. Um, they didn't really fit into the game. Everything else is in 3D. And it's like this flat explosion that just really doesn't blend in with everything else. Last time I saw explosions like that were on my Apple II when I was playing the game Paratrooper. So, taking what little I know of C programming, and quite a lot of trial and error, I finally removed those annoying pixelated explosions. Basically, this file removes the pixelated explosions from the rockets and any grenades that explode a quake, such as yours or the ogre's. Um, that's all well and good, but does it add anything, or is it just going to, like, now have, like, no visible explosives? That doesn't sound promising at all. But, um, yeah, let's see here. Anyway, he's looking into various different things, such as jibs for tar babies that are not bloody. Um, bouts of rockets that last for 10 seconds. Every time the rocket hits a surface, it explodes and bounces to another surface, where it explodes again. Long distance grenades, rubber nails, and whatever else or others requests um, can do to make Quake a more interesting fun than it already is. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's see here. I'm um, using this file at your own risk. I've tested it on my version of Quake. It didn't erase my hard drive, cause Quake to crash, or whatever. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, just basically fixes up the explosions. So let's see exactly what this thing is. Like I said, it, it's a basic graphic change. Shouldn't be anything too massive. But let's see here, um... Where's like a good experimental thing? Um, well, a good one's probably just to check out. I'm really sure I want to, like, just have some ogres attacking me right off the bat. Let's see here. I was thinking maybe the powers of hate, but no. Hmm, where's a good map that just gives you a quick rocket launcher? Or a grenade launcher, I'll sell for the either or at the moment. I just don't want a bunch of ogres attacking me at the beginning. Um, well this the rocket launcher here. Yeah, that that, that makes sense. Charge for it! I believe in myself! For Narnia! Run away, run away, run away! Oh god, this is getting a lot going crazy without inspected. Die! Die! So you see, a bit different explosions. Let's see here. Okay, now we have the ogre explosions. As you see, just a little different. Shows more like a fiery effect as opposed to the um, basic effect we saw before. Not the biggest change in the world at all. Not actually sure it really changed too too much, but it is a graphical change. You can see it did something. Just not the biggest thing in the world. Anyway, um, a better way to see it, because this is kind of crazy. I'm going to just switch it back to start. Best map to test this type of stuff out. Um, let's see, Impulse 9 it, so we got all the weapons. And now all I have to do is just point at a wall. And there you are. Um, you get to see the fire. Kind of hard to see or whatnot, probably, but if you sew it up the video, of course, it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> um, plus, like I said, here's a grenade launcher. Now, this will be a lot easier to see. Because each one can, like, go off momentarily. So, I'll just, like, keep shooting them. You'll see them, like, burning all over the place. And so, there we are. Yeah, it looks a lot like, um, Duke Nukem's fires. It reminds me a lot of that. I'm, I'm pr they probably come from Duke Nukem, but... Thank you, and I don't think it, any actual files would change to this. So, yeah, I'm not really sure where they got that file from. Or if it was just like some explosive of the game that just wasn't used for whatever reason. But needless to say, rather curious, to say the least. <laughs> um, not really sure where that comes from. Let's see here. One way to actually like fix this up quickly and see just how different it is is let's just move out the progs like that. B best way of like comparing this right back to back. Makes it easier to see. 
Okay, so this is right here, the vanilla game. Absolutely no changes whatsoever. So if I shoot... It's not the biggest change in the world, now is it? Yeah. It... I think it's doing some changes. Like, I don't think it's doing all the dots. Yeah, I think that's it. I think, actually, it's not getting rid of the fire explosion. It's just getting rid of all the little dots around it. Um, so it's not like having a radial effect of explosives. It's just having the actual explosion effect itself. Um, so, like, if you take this and you shoot at the wall... So you see, it's just causing the fire. None of the other um, effects on it. See, so yeah, it makes it a lot simpler. A lot less grandos. But, um, at the same time... Oh, look! My rocket just went in there and it was, like, so small you didn't even notice it. But, yeah, like I said, because of how this effect is, it lasts very, very quickly. And, um... Yeah, just... I'm not really sure about this one, people. <laughs> um... It feels like it removes the effect, but, like, was that effect really that bothersome? Like, it doesn't really change much. It's really weird how, like, they just kind of decided to get rid of s s that little area there. That little radial area. Let's see here. Yeah, I guess I can kind of see why it's, like, it's kind of, like, problematic, because it's, like, so pixelated and whatnot. And so it's like, okay, that's it. I'm just getting rid of it. So, um, yeah, definitely, um, something that's debatable. I'm trying to figure out if it's better with or without. That's definitely a debate or whatnot, because it's less noticeable without it. But I can see what they mean by all those dots and whatnot just being a bunch of pixels. So, um, yeah, I think I'll add it, just for the sake of adding it. It'll probably be easy enough to take out anyway. Yeah, like I said, um... Not the biggest change in the world, but it is a change, and like I said, it was something a lot of people were complaining about, apparently, so... Depending on who you are, your experience may differ, maybe you got heavily bugged by this, and so this is the greatest change in the world. For me, it's kind of a little convenient, so when I guess it, it, it definitely isn't bad um, to have this in here. It just feels like not the most noticeable or grandose of changes in the world. Like, if you didn't tell me or whatnot that something was really changed, I probably wouldn't have paid attention to it. Place, I guess it works kind of like that. Instead of like having some effect or whatnot. Just have it so it's a quick effect as opposed to like blocking your entire screen. Yeah, so I'll go with it. Um, like I said, unless really someone really wants those pixelated effects back, I, I really don't see any reason. But this is one where really I don't really hold too much of like a hard stance on either side of it. It's it, it's definitely something I could see a difference to, but something that just yeah, in the grand scheme of things, not really the most major of things. <laughs> um, if it was on like a whole new uh, explosion effect or something like that, maybe. But it's still the sprite for the actual um, explosion. It just gets rid of all the um, pixelated area around the explosion. Um, and like I said, that makes it less noticeable. But at the same time, I could kind of see why it would kind of be removed. Because it is a little bit over like the top in a way. It um, looks a little gradient and whatnot. So... Definitely an argument on both sides. Like I said, I'll add it just because. Um, but yeah, really not something that I would get really bothered with either way. I, I never really got bothered by the quake explosions. And even seeing this, I just don't really have an opinion either way. <laughs> you know, it's very rare that I can actually say that, that I just don't really have anything. But yeah, that that's pretty much exactly what the case is here. And pretty amazing for something where apparently a lot of people um, complained. Apparently there are a lot more people you know about this type of stuff than even I am. Amazing. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been rather, rather pointless, I know. But 
but it's it's been a graphical change. It's a little small thing, but it's there. It's a thing, and we did it. So with that in mind, that in mind, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.